best seats in the house and uh, as I said uh, don't have uh, spectators in tonight as such uh, a few of the other athletes coaches etc of course are, are in and some athletes ran in some events earlier a lot of the local athletes getting the chance to compete on the same evening as the Diamond League and they'll be I'm sure watching uh, with interest as we move to the men's 200 a men's 200 that features the inform Kenny Bidnarek against uh, a couple of very very talented Canadians there is the lineup in full and some very very familiar names not least this man Justin Gatlin still going strong at the age of 39 Olympic champion of course back in 2004 Athens still a very divisive figure in the sport after those uh, doping bans but still producing extraordinary performances one in Tokyo in an Olympic test event a few weeks ago there is uh, Bednarek he goes in lane six fabulous form fourth fastest with the trademark headband one in Ostrava in the cold and then Gateshead in the rain into a really strong headwind Andre de Grasse was also in Gateshead last weekend Olympic silver medalist and uh, bronze medalist over 100 meters a little bit disappointed with his uh, showing uh, last weekend third in the northeast of England former world champion Ramil Guliev goes in four not the force he was hasn't run sub 20 since uh, September 2019 Adam Jamili in lane two former European champion got a great start in Gateshead last weekend but looked uh, a little sluggish overall but has uh, recovered from a, a serious foot injury Emmanuel Matadi from Liberia former African bronze medalist goes in lane two and then completing the lineup in one out of a from Ivory Coast set a lifetime best and national record here last September so the men's 200 meters but Bednarek very much the form athlete in lane six so the lineup in four from the inside Cite Ivory Coast in one Matadi Liberia goes in two Adam Jamili from Great Britain in three Guliev the former world champion in four De Grasse Canada in five Bednarek in six Aaron Brown we missed him in the introductions he goes in seven from Canada and Gatlin the former Olympic champion goes in lane eight men's 200 meters by the way they go and Bednarek was a, a convincing winner last weekend and ran a superb band and already he's up on the shoulder of Aaron Brown also going well is uh, de Grasse de Grasse and Brown but uh, Bednarek coming away again Bednarek being pushed all the way by Degrasse. Degrasse coming back at him very, very strongly indeed. Oh, it's very tight on the line. 1988. Again, a slight tailwind pushing them round. Bednarek, you know, I thought thought he was comfortable in getting home there, but Degrasse pushed him all the way. And that will take some separating. Degrasse maybe thinks he's just got it on the line. Brilliant last 50 meters from Degrasse. Bednarek, who's won his last two races, perhaps a little complacent and de Grasse thinks he's got it <laughs> you're looking at me um close isn't it incredibly close i'm really pleased actually that we have got such a good race there uh, adam jamili just congratulating him but what a fast race and it's been given to bednarek to the american now it couldn't be much closer it's come as a hundredth actually i bet it's another thousandth of a second De Grasse really charging and you thought 10 meters out his momentum was going to take him past Bednarek then just faltered if you like watch this the American in lane six not as good I think De Grasse got slightly the better start he's been talking a lot about Tokyo the opportunity that's opened up in the 100 meters no Christian Coleman of course and uh, I think Gates said wet and cold but tonight a really much better measure of where he's at and the tall American here just finds a little bit to hold the Canadian off when he looked as though he was surging past him. These two well ahead of everybody else. Aaron Brown ran well, but De Grasse, I think he's going to be absolutely delighted with this. A big step forward from what we've seen so far. And under 20 seconds, you know, he's going to be going for the double. This for him is a, a, a massive year. Medals in the past, but open races. No allows, of course, everyone would look to Bednarek and others in the 200. The 100 looks open. But what a good confidence booster for both men over the 200 metres of the longest sprint distance tonight. Well, he's got two fingers up, but that's uh, a third consecutive win for Bednarek. Ostrava, Gateshead, 
and now Doha.